Hello, it's John Lord here on the 10th of February and we're just starting our first spring job. Ta-da! Cutting back stuff. That's a technical term. What we're doing is cutting back stuff that you cut to the ground every year and you let it grow up and then you cut it back the same the following year. And by and large, it you cut back stuff. You know how to, what stuff to cut back because it tells you so. Because it's dead. It's already dead. Above ground stuff is dead. The plant itself is at this stage nicely ensconced below ground away from the weather. And over the next month or two, it's gonna, or three, it's gonna start coming up again. And at that stage, you don't want all the unsightly bits from last year to be, to be there. And uh, it's much harder to cut it back then because you have to cut each one back, back individually. But at this time of the year, you can, it's very easy, just cut everything back. You have to be careful, that's happened to me before, that you don't cut stuff that doesn't need to be cut back. Look, I've cut back Japanese maples by accident before. I've cut back hydrangeas and lots of other shrubs when they're young, because when they're young in winter and you don't have any leaves and they can look like uh, dead, dead bits of herbaceous plants and you just have to watch yourself, particularly if you're using, if you're using this. Now, um, a particular plant I want to talk about is uh, uh, Miscanthus. Miscanthus has to be cut back every year. And funnily enough, it's still alive. That, that particular one is still alive above the ground, but it just gets tatty and you have to cut it back. And, and also, it starts to drop a lot of leaves and at this time, and they go everywhere and they start getting really untidy. So they have to go. Now, it's important, it's a t I have a thing about Miscanthus, they have to be cut to the ground. Sometimes you see them cut back to here. And that leaves an, uh, an unsightly fringe. They have to be cut to zero, so they're fountain grass, so the, the new growth starts from the base. Not from here. So anyway, we're going to have a go. We're going to put a few things back here. First of all, put on me. What did you say? Can't hear you. Now we see. Can we get this thing to go? Okay, that's enough. Now I just, I nearly went wrong. We have here two fuchsias, or three fuchsias, which are nearly cut back by accident. I don't want to cut them back till later. If I do cut them back, these three here nearly got caught in my enthusiasm. And then what we do after this, we get a rake. And with the likes of that, you're probably just better just pick that up. We'll have a look at what we're left with in the Wisconsin. Now, that when you rake and uh, resist the urge to go to go right down to the mineral soil. Leave a little bit on, leave a little bit behind, because that will all disappear later. Now, there's a few bits. Oh, you can see how tight the miscanthus is. So easy, and funnily enough, look, even in the middle of the miscanthus, 
Rust never sleeps. Ivy is starting to, to, to take over. You have to watch Ivy all the time because it's an air climate. It just takes over. Once you know that, and just, just keep at it. Well, really, that's the start of our work, gardening year work. And um, there's a lot more ahead of us, this type of work. If you like it, it's great. If you don't like it, don't do it. Thanks for listening. Are watching.